los intestinos por debajo de la falda como un submarino y te saca lo de indio taíno. I also decided to bring up El Grito de Poetas uh, for a second time um, for Latino Heritage Month. They were here last year and had a great performance, great turnout, um, and actually only brought three members out of the group. Um, this, this year, we got them up again. Um, they have all their members here, including a female representative, so we're getting the, uh, you know, female voice in there. I'm upstate, so Brooklyn, Gritalo, Puerto Rico! A Grito de Poetas is a group of seven educators and poets, all having a uh, Latin background. And basically, we go throughout all of New York City and where else, New York State, been to the West Coast, been down South, and do a little thing, do a little poetry, a little education, let you know that Puerto Ricans, well, at least me, let you know Puerto Ricans are more than just rice and beans and J-Lo. So, <laughs> see? That's the problem. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. And this is why it's important for El Grito to be around. El Grito de Poetas, which means the screams of poets. We want people who might have had misconceptions of Latinos to come to this show and to leave educated and to pass it on to others. Our history, being that it's not written in books, is passed down generation to generation just by us telling these stories. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the historian from the Bronx slash Long Island, Sheila! Hamilton Central Junior High, uh, we got to host a workshop there with the kids. We're going to be up here. We might as well reach out to the youth because that, that's what we like to do. So this is the first time I've ever seen spoken words on Hopefully, I'll enjoy as much as the audience will today. Night's energy was the type of energy that we always look for. Okay, it rocks. It really rocked. Like, I really felt, I feel, you know, I'm really charged. It was an amazing experience.